Welcome to MathCast Edition 7, where we'll be looking at something called the greatest common factor. So for definition's sake, we'll talk about factors are essentially building blocks to create larger numbers through the operation of multiplication. So if I looked at the number 12, it has factors of 4 and 3, it has factors of 6 times 2, even though they're different numbers, if they're paired together and they can build the 12 through multiplication, they're considered a factor. A prime factor consists of the prime numbers, so we will break down a desired number like 12, and we will break it down into its prime factors. Prime numbers, just for a refresher, are numbers that are divisible by 1 and themselves. So again, if I looked at 12, I want to break it down to 2 times 2 times 3, getting all of the factors down to prime numbers. 36, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, which is essentially 4 times 9, uh, but we want to get it right down to prime factors. Finding the greatest common factor can be challenging at times. Uh, if we look at a number like 8, pardon me, of the numbers 18 and 27, we want to try and find the largest number or the largest factor, the largest building block that is shared between the two. Okay. In this case, the largest building block or factor is 9. And if we write 18 in a factored form with 9 times 2, I can see here's the 9 in common for both. The other number is prime, in this case 2 and 3. So I know I have the largest common factor between the two or the greatest common factor between the two. So here's how this works. I wish to find the greatest common factor between the following three terms, 24, 48, and 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the three numbers broken down into their prime factor forms. Now, what I suggest is you probably pause the video here, take a look and make sure you understand where the numbers come from. Because it's multiplication, I've rearranged the last one here, so I have descending order, five threes and then twos. So why don't you pause it here and have a look, make sure you're comfortable with where those numbers came from. So our next part is, what factors do all of the terms have in common? So if you look at the prime factored form here, see how many terms they have in common. Well, there we go. 24, 48, and 60 all have a 3 times 2 times 2 in common. I can't have anything extra because a 5 is not available in 48 and 24. An extra 2 is available in 48 but not in 60. So these are the three numbers or building blocks that they all three of them ha have in common. So if I take all th those three terms, 2 times 2 times 3, and I multiply them out, when this is multiplied out, I get the product of 12. So therefore, the greatest common factor between 48, 24, and 60 is 12. And you can see that here. Moving along into my second example here, I have introduced unknowns. And unknowns are just numbers we don't know yet. So I'm going to break down 8a squared, 16a, and 12a cubed into their prime factors. And you'll notice when I bring these up, let's put them right there, that I have switched from using multiplication signs to using brackets. Uh, once we introduce unknowns to the problem, multiplication signs that are little x's can be confused with the variable that are x's. So I will be using brackets for the next few examples. So again, I suggest you pause it here, take a good look at the pr factors that I'm using, make sure you understand where they come from. And then we'll carry on with what factors do all of the terms have in common? So if you look at these factored forms here, what do they all have in common? Well, we can see right away that there are two twos and an A common to all of these terms. So when I take those three terms, the 2, 2, and the a, and multiply them together, I get a product of 4a. So therefore, the greatest common factor of 8a squared, 16a, 12a cubed is 4a. 
and we could express it this way. Okay, my final example, I've raised the stakes a little bit more. We've introduced a second unknown, and this starts to look a little complicated, but again, take a moment, pause the video, make sure you're comfortable for, for where all the parts come from. You may need to review your exponent laws. A squared is just A times A. B cubed is B times B times B. So take a moment now and pause it and have a look. So what factors do all of these terms have in common? Well, I'll bring up the 24 a squared b cubed and the 16 a cubed b squared all at the same time here. And you can see that they have three twos multiplied together in common, two a's and two b's. So our greatest common factor, we can determine that by multiplying those pieces together. And when we do that, we come up with eight a squared b squared so therefore the greatest common factor of those three original terms is 8a squared b squared and we can see that here so at this point in time you may wish to pause the video again and try this one on your own and then i will post the solutions momentarily all right here we go breaking those three terms down into their lowest or prime factor form. Determining what they have in common. So in this case, they have two threes in common and one a. When I multiply that out, I get a product of nine a. Therefore, the greatest common factor for those three original terms is nine a. And I can see that here. And it's worth pointing out that this piece here which will be important down the road, is all of the non-highlighted terms. Just something for you to look at. Once again, thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or concerns, please send an email to me, child, at underscore math at yahoo.com. Thank you.